Hi, I'm Charlie Moore, president of Visual Apex, and this is the new Vapex Universal Learning Remote. The Vapex Universal Learning Remote programs in just minutes and comes with a one-year limited warranty. Others say their remotes are easy to program. I'm going to show you just how easy. Your contents will consist of your remote and a user manual. This video will better explain the programming steps needed to get you up and running. The most important part of the user manual is the section consisting of the manufacturer's model codes between pages 10 and 22. If you lose your manual or just can't find it for future changes, the codes will be posted on our Vapex Universal Remote product page. You'll need two fresh AAA batteries. Insert them into the back of the remote. You can watch our video several times to take the step-by-step -step approach to programming your new remote. You can also forward or backward this video at any time. Now we're ready to program. We're going to set the clock, the date, and day. Hold the green set button down for three seconds. You'll see the word setting. The display will read remote. You can use the up and down arrow buttons to toggle between the word remote and the word clock. Now stay on the word clock. Press OK. It's important to know that you can use the left and right buttons to navigate within any setting. The year date will flash. Using the up and down arrow buttons, click to the correct year. Now click the right button to move to the month. Using the up and down buttons, set the correct month. Again click the right button, and using the up and down buttons, move to the correct day. Once you've completed the correct date, the day of the week will automatically display at the bottom of the screen. Now again, click the right arrow to set the clock. Using the up and down arrows, choose either the 24 or 12 hour clock setting. Click to the right to move to the hour. Use the up and down buttons to select the correct hour in the AM or PM. This will display on the top left corner. Now click to the right and using the up and down arrow, set the minutes. Now press OK to save all of your clock settings and date settings. You can now set the codes for your current remotes. Again, in the middle of the instruction manual, from pages 10 to 22, you'll find the codes for your current remotes. Your main home theater components should be listed here. For example, TVs, cable or satellite boxes, audio receivers, DVD players, or home theaters in a box. Find the corresponding code for the type of component you have by manufacturer listing. There may be several choices per item to try. You will not find your codes for your projector. We'll cover programming for your projector in the learning remote portion of this video. Now, hold the green set button down for three seconds. Again, you'll see the word setting. The display will read the word remote. Now, just press OK. The display will read the word set code. Press OK. The display will show the word TV. You can use the up and down button to pick the appropriate component you are going to program. Then press OK. The display now shows your component you are programming, in this example TV, and four digits. This is where you'll enter the code using the numeric keypad, not the up and down buttons. Press OK. After you program an accurate code, 
all of the correlating buttons will automatically work the same as your original remote. To program additional components, repeat these steps with the corresponding component code. After testing your remote, if your remote does not work for your specific model or the codes cannot be found, you will be using the learning remote function. We will now program the learning remote function. Hold the green set button down for three seconds. You'll see the word setting. When the display shows the word remote, press OK you'll see the word set code. Now use the up and down buttons to find the word learn. Press OK. Pick your component. In this case, I'm moving down to the word VCR to program my projector remote. Press OK. The display reads learning. Take your universal remote and your projector remote and lay them on a flat surface, facing each other. Press the button you want to program, power in this instance, on the component or projector remote. The universal remote will read, save learn. Press the correlating button on the universal remote, in this case, the power button. Continue programming other correlating keys. If you cannot find a correlating key, you may choose any key on the universal remote to perform the function from your component remote. Press the set button to save all settings. Finally, after you've programmed all of your components, you can set a macro function to turn on and off up to four components at a time by hitting the Mac one key. Hold the green set button down for three seconds. You'll see the word setting. When the display shows the word remote, press OK. Use the up and down buttons until the display reads macro. Press OK. The display shows macro one. Press OK. Now it says macro one with a number on the right. You will program up to four components for each macro button. In my example, I'll be programming four components, the first being my projector, which I programmed into the VCR button. Press the VCR and then press power. Then I press my DVD button, which is my Blu-ray player, and then the power button. Then I press my audio button, which is my Yamaha audio system, and then the power button. And then finally my cable button, which is my cable box, and then the power button. Press OK to save all the macro functions. To test your macro, press the macro one button as you point the remote in the direction of your different components. The MAC2 key may also be programmed for up to four additional components. It's important to note, when changing your batteries, the clock will need to be reset, but the remote will retain your programming functions. Now that was pretty easy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Charlie Moore. Thanks for watching. Buy your next home theater system from Visual Apex. You know our name, you got my word. Now, check out our website for other important components for your home theater solution.